Hi folks, hi everyone, good day to you wherever you may be and whatsoever you may be doing. My name is Atere Ayodiji. I am the CEO of Empire's Travels and Tour, a subsidiary of Empire Group of Company. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a businessman, I'm a visa consultant. In today's video, we're going to be looking at this issue, the top reason why people don't get job. Why is most people, why some people do not get job in Bahrain and Dubai? We're going to be taking a deeper look at this because I've been seeing some comments section. People are, some people are, might be calling you. There's no job in Dubai. There's no job in Bahrain. Then I'm telling you categorically there are jobs in these two countries, and I will be telling you the reason why most people and 50% set of people, the reason why they don't get job in Bahrain or in Dubai or any of the Arab world. I'll be telling you those reasons. And before we continue our show, you just have to help us. Click subscribe. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get you notified whenever we drop a new video like this, an important and educative video like this. You just have to help us subscribe to our YouTube channel. It doesn't bite. Make that don't do not leave that red button red it's danger make it black click on the subscription below click on it so thank you very much as you've joined the family and never forget to give this video a huge thumbs thumbs up in order for youtube to, to suggest this our video to other people to, to other viewers and never forget to like and share let's just get go in straight to the point top reasons top five reasons why people do not get job in why some people not all most people get job in Bahrain and Dubai even as worse as Nigerian passport is people still get job but I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you top five reasons why some people do not get job number one reason overhyped maybe some most Nigeria agents might have overhyped the country for you they will tell you, job, don't worry, job is everywhere. It's at uh, the nook and corner. You can get a job anywhere. You, once you get there, I'm going to handle you over to someone. Someone will just give you a job, bam, and you start earning like 400, 500, 300k to Nigeria money. They might have overhyped the country for you. But I am telling you categorically that <laughs> this life is never a bed of rules. Even in the UK, in the United States of America, in Canada, people still look for job. Do not let anybody overhype um, Bahrain or Dubai or any Arab world for you. So everywhere you have to struggle to get job. Even though there are jobs, you have to pass the interview. You can't, me as, as an entrepreneur, as a businessman, as a manager, you can't be coming to my um to my company you have to you i will need must see some quality in you the reason why i'm paying you the reason why i'm to employ you you must have some quality in yourself you must have developed yourself i must be in need of you fine there are jobs in bahrain and some people get and some people don't get maybe your um agency might have overhyped the place for you like, don't worry there are jobs like people some people say in those days they say hey, whenever you get to america you pick gold on the street no if you get to america today you will still see beggar there are beggars on the street there are poor people in the united states of america yeah as worse as nigeria is today you some people will still give you a job so forget about it if you if they override the country for you and you fail realize that whenever you get there, you get job at first hand. <laughs> My brother, you are deceiving yourself. There is no place that is easy. You have to struggle, fight for the survivor. That is it. And uh, the best you can give, that is how fast you get the job. That's number one. Maybe they might have over oh, agency over hype. That is the first title. Then the second one is maybe you don't. Um, Maybe the second reason is the reason why some people do not get maybe they don't have fund you don't have enough money with you to look for a job yeah so when you get to Barry you need money to move even if you are going to be doing those applications yourself you need money to go for to pay for transport fare even when you get the when the agency help you to get the job if you did not get it yourself, when the agency help you to get the job, you have to pay those agents money before they give you the job. And if you want to find a job by yourself, you have to go online, subscribe, 
um, browse, submit your CV. That's number one. You have to go by yourself to all those, uh, to all these working areas, to all those offices to submit your application. If you don't have those money, my brother, you start complaining. Oh, there's no job in Dubai and in, in Dubai or Bahrain. You start complaining. So that's number two. Number three. Lack of handwork and inexperience. I titled this one Lack of Handwork and Inexperience. If you don't have if you do not have handwork, you might still get a job. Yes, fine. But it might take a while. But compared to you that you have handwork like you're a plumber, you're an electrician, you're a mechanic, you're a tailor, whatever, getting you a job there might be faster. So if you don't have any experience, you don't have any handwork or whatever, it might take you some it might take you a while before you could get a job those are another reason why some people say there are no jobs in dubai or bahrain so if you are if you have handwork and you have good experience definitely you get one job and um the number four over depending on ages to get to your work <laughs> so some clients have put 100 percent of their mind on some agents to get them work they will not want to find those jobs themselves they, you just get to a place you just when you get there you relax you sleep like a mosquito or uh, like pig you want people to get job for you and whenever they get the job for you you cannot defend it you cannot speak you cannot you are when you get there you do not work well how are they going in dubai they will not even give you just test you for a week or whatever they will not give you visa they will not employ you they will send you back in so you have over depended on your agency to get to job so it is fine it's right for you to depend on your agency to get to job but you do not put your egg in one basket you as a man be bold i give you the courage you can get those jobs yourself even in dubai and in bahrain those things happen at times and most clients are not are not even patient whenever they look for a job for a week they did not see start complaining they start broadcasting they start talking so you have to be focused that's number four then number five laziness and over selective <laughs> i tried to that one that's the last on my list today laziness and over selective when you are you are coming from nigeria they give you a job you are complaining the salary is too much it's 180k you cannot do it you are complaining and they gave you one kind of certain of work you are saying this work is too hard oh i cannot do this so oh. you will do this me yeah you are doing fine boy you are in a foreign land my brother you just have to walk is that understood just get that stuck into your head you don't have to be lazy you have to any kind of work you get this is the school in all these gulf countries in dubai or in Bahrain. first hand grab that one first then you have your stand those Little those job with underpaid salary that their salary is no more than one eighty or one four or one sixty or two hundred. Those ones will give you visa easily. If you have your visa, then you have your stand. Then you cannot move on from there to other place. You cannot you can you cannot get a better salary. That you cannot move on from there. You have your stand when you have those uh, little job first. So that is how to do. That is how to behave. So if you fall into these five categorical, in, in, I'm sorry, if you fall into these five categories that I've mentioned, uh, that means you are your own brother. You have to just improve. So those are the set of people that do complain that no jobs in Gulf countries. So if you are not found in, this, in those kind of categories, definitely when you get to Dubai or Bahrain, you're going to get a job. So that's that about today's video. So, and thank you guys for watching from the beginning to the end. And before you go, never forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell in order for you to get notified whenever we drop a new video. And never forget one thing. This is one thing I always say to people. I do not create this channel for the purpose of um, making money only. I created this channel in order to give value to people, to the society yeah to get you informed so you do not come to my dm that i'm lying or whatever no 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 i have other jobs i'm doing but i just this is my passion i love teaching people telling people keeping people informed that's part of my job so thank you very much see you sometimes any day anytime
bye bye for now thanks so much returning subscriber and thank you for watching the video thank you for liking it thank you for subscribing to our youtube channel bye bye good day